Hey, uh, it's Anfa and this is day two of my um, FM challenge track. Working on that track, making this track. So I just want to listen to what I have on the previous day. All right. That's a pretty, pretty okay-ish drum kit. Let's listen on the headphones. Well, the, the kick is pretty, pretty freaking. I'm not sure it's it's the best, but it, it, for sure it's thumpy. I'm gonna maybe maybe I'll leave it for now and just try to make something else. I'd like to try some weird FM basses, maybe growly sounds. I don't know. Let's see. Oh no, I wanted this to be way, way longer, kind of like this. is totally gonna go so this is bass one I think I'm gonna solo this instrument maybe and try to reset everything oh. I wish there was something like a uh, patch but I can't find that option okay so we have the oscillator F um, I need to pitch it down pitch it pitch it down pitch it down let's see what we can do with the oscillator E modulating it at. Hey, uh, it's Anfa, and this is day two of my um,
Interesting. Let's try maybe pushing this into the oscillator, actually the filter Z. So we can do with that. Oh no, this one is, that's a filter, right? Why is it so quiet? Oh. All right. All right, it's interesting. Maybe I can actually, no, not, not use that. Just use directly. Let's send something else to the filter. How about that self modulation here? Oh, that's really interesting. Sounds like distortion, actually. doesn't sound like doing anything else. Okay. Let's see, I think I have releases. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, we have the drum and bass feel for this. Ah, uh, lovely. Uh, I think the patch is, is pretty quiet in itself. I think I need to turn it up a bit, quite a bit. Let's see, maybe let's loop it. I would try to pitch this all of that down. I'm gonna use a MIDI transpose utilities. Yeah, just to very easily push it one octave down. Oh yes, very, very good. I wonder maybe we should have ever shifted some semitones up Just to avoid being too low in the frequency range. I'm gonna see. Because we don't want to go below, you know, 50, 40 hertz. Yeah. This is still pretty low. Uh, many, many people recommend the root note of uh, G. Uh, hello? Let's send something else to the filter. E, central, oh, right. because... Oh, we have progression! This is awesome. Ah, well, well, now, um, okay, this is our source material, kind of. I'm gonna save this as a new version. So snapshot and switch to new version. Don't save now, just the snapshot and bodacious 04. I think it's starting to sound a little bit bodacious. Definitely need to give us some a little bit more sub bass. Uh, and I think we need to, yeah. Now we'll have fun and add quite a lot of different effects onto that. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about maybe first applying crossover maybe free band club crossover mm, so we can separate the these frequencies yeah so okay now actually i should all right maybe let's leave that eq there now i want to add mm, 
I want to add some distortion, but on the lows. So yeah, let's go. Mm. All right, so we have stereo, sub bass, mids, or bass, mids, highs. Now I'm gonna put Wolf Shaper, and by default it operates on all three bands. I'm gonna reduce the number of instances to one, and I only wanna do this for the lows. Now maybe no, let's let's bypass lows and highs and just distort the mids. Let's see what what happens. Now after the thing, we need to add mixers stereo to mono. Uh, it, this doesn't have any settings, and now it's called manual config. All right, so we want to. Mm, yeah, first we need two instances and we're mixing mids with the lows like this. And then we're outputting mids and lows mixed and then highs passed through. Yeah, so now we have listen outputs. Now we we'll just copy and paste the same thing. And go to the pin connections and now we are just mixing what you already had, which is bass and mids, bass and mids with the highs. And it neatly reuses that configuration that we had. We just have to remove two audio outs. And we're back to stereo and it sounds <laughs> kind of weird because this, this thingy. Now it sounds exactly the same, but we have exclusive console over. <laughs> lows, mids, and highs, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now we can distort the mids just the mids. freaking awesome. Now I would like to add some modulation effect, maybe maybe a phaser. Um, but I want to put it only on the highs. So let's go manual config. Okay, I don't want to have free MIDI outs. I don't want to have, okay, the MIDI, the audio outs are okay. Okay, so we're bypassing lows and mids and just putting the highs through and out. These are the highs, so. Interesting. I think I want to do something something else. I want to do, but I want to apply this filter both to mids and highs, but not to lows. So I will reduce the number of instances to two, bypass the lows, put the mids here, put the highs here. I also don't want free MIDI outputs. And then mids go back here, highs go back here. It's gonna be interesting. Now this is by default um, a low pass filter. I wanna make this a band pass filter. Let's see what we can do with that. And let's play. So you see, we can band pass, but only mids and highs. Pretty 
freaking awesome because we are not never gonna lose the sub base no matter what we do with automation here and we want to do something with automation that's what it's for okay let's try no oh, this is too low Let's try to do something more lively. Let's turn down these for you. All righty, uh, we have we have a bay, bay band pass now. I want to add a notch filter after that so let's see we have another filter let's go make it an band reject pretty narrow let's do it now by default it also copies the automation which is pretty fine because now we can just modify it we don't need to create it from scratch it's really convenient Pretty freaking awesome. Now I would like to add some, I wanna try and maybe do something else with this. I think there's too much sub bass. Uh, maybe I will reduce this a bit. Also, there is no stereo image. I don't, maybe it's not super, I mean, I think there is a little bit from the phaser because we are processing left and right differently, but I think there's not too... Maybe I should also modulate the phaser manually instead of using it with automation. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this, reset it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually... Okay, this is the difference between left and right. I'm gonna just automate the center frequency. Uh, I love this, this is very fun. Mm, call phaser, center frequency, yay. Let's go with play and just try something. Maybe let's try not doing anything and then do something very quickly for one note and then go back to something else and not do anything and just let's see. <laughs> Because when everything is moving all the time, I guess it's gonna be really hard to tell what actually is happening. So maybe let's try holding some some things for some time to not move at all. Let's see what that does. All right, that's pretty interesting. You see, we have lots of things going on, and with, with crossover filter and mixers, you can actually do any effect in a multiband. I think I'm gonna start making, doing actually multiband compression this way because then I have the same attack and release and ratio and threshold for all bands because, yeah, I'm just, it's gonna take some, I don't know, it's really nice, very interesting. Mm. This isn't with the drums. <laughs> Uh, we we are definitely lacking some highs. I think I'm gonna return. And after the filter, I'm gonna add a mixer. Uh, sorry, a compressor. Let's see, cough compressor. Now we're compressing every band separately, but with exactly the same settings. Just gonna make it very easy to crush it hard, and this is what I want. Maybe I'm gonna show you with a... Uh, let's see, I don't know if it's installed or something 
Do I have warp spectrum? Hmm. I don't have it yet. All right, never mind. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna show you maybe the spectrogram of that. <laughs> band is quieter is putting is gonna be make made louder too to yeah just it's gonna take some I don't know it's really nice very interesting mm, make it all kind of filled in balanced we don't want to have such terrible holes in the spectrum but on the other hand I want to cut out quite a lot of sound to make them <laughs> Yep, things are happening. I think we could use another, maybe we could use another notch filter. Maybe let's not do it. I'm gonna try and go to back to the source and, uh, hmm. I tried to make it a little bit sound a little wider in stereo, but I think I'm gonna just use C uh, caps uh, plugin called Wider, which is basically what it's what it says. However, it operates on a mono signal. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it, of course I'm gonna put it, uh, just in one of the bands. So, yeah, I'm going to, well, where is it? Oh, here it is. All ah, right, I need to, because <laughs> it's a mono plugin, so <laughs> it created six instances. Okay, we need, we need only one, actually. Mm, one instance and we need six audio outs I'm just clicking now waiting to see one two three four six no oh, one two three four five six one two three four five one two three four five okay we have six nice now by passing the by this base uh, and I'm gonna synthesize some highs no mids highs are going to go bypass i however only need one of the channels because basically we are synthesizing the width <laughs> i'm not sure if this was working right <laughs> Okay, so the lack of width was the, the the panner. For some reason, it gets stuck in the <laughs> it gets stuck in the uh, surround mode, and I don't know how to switch it back because I think it should be back when when I switch back to two channels, but it's not. So let's bypass it and. <laughs> All right, now can you hear the difference? <laughs> I hope you can because it's pretty pretty obvious. If you're not, you're probably watching on in 20 240p on YouTube when the sound is down mixed to mono, or maybe it's not. I think I think all the time now the audio is in opus 250 kilobits per second, which is to my ear pretty freaking lossless. Opus is an amazing codec. No, I'm not recording. Um, okay, let's see what is recorded. What was recorded? Hey. Um, the capture for the video capture for some reason stopped uh, and I didn't notice I don't know what happened but um, I made I added some effects I added uh, um, a calf crossover 
uh, and then I added mul multiple effects on different bands and in the end I'm mixing the three separate stereo bands back to mono. Oh, what's going on? This shouldn't happen. Okay. Mm. So yeah, basically you already saw that in some of my videos, so I'm not gonna redo that thing, but you can listen now. <laughs> Uh, I think it's too loud. I wonder what would happen if I added a little bit of I wonder what's happening, because something is really bogging down my system right now. Hmm. Weird. Weird. Really weird. Ah, oh, I'm very quiet. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm going to... Hmm. Maybe for now, make like this sound as this, just compress it together a little bit after the multiband compression. I'd like to add a little bit of noise. For some reason, my whole com machine is completely hanging for for a good chunk of time. I wonder what what is going on. I don't like that. Uh, okay, maybe let's kill. Yeah, let's let's free some RAM. I think what what we need is a side sidechain compressor. However, I think I'm gonna create another a separate track for that trigger. Uh, so I can have really decent control. So I'm gonna copy the kick track and call this side chain trigger. And I'm going to, okay, let's maybe try and uh, I don't know. Okay, I don't understand how this work. I would like to have something like a default patch that does only one thing and it's just a sine wave or nothing. I don't want to use any freaking okay. It won't happen. Alright, I need to I need to reset it manually. Um uh, one, two, three. Whoa, I've pressed Z uh sidechain trigger. Okay, yeah, just just one. Yeah, just like that. Super simple. Actually, higher pitches could be better. Maybe some decay. Oh, this shouldn't happen. Okay. Mm. Or maybe not. Alrighty, this is the side chain trigger. Now, we basically make it non audible because we don't want it to be listed. Now I'm going to use that. 
uh, to trigger sidechain compression. And you know what? I'm going to make a bus for that. I'm going to... Yeah, this is something I learned from a, from a video with... Oh, no. Okay, I have two buses. No, never mind. Sidechain bus. Let's move it up. And then I'm going to basically route everything that has to be sidechained to that bus, say this base. It's going to go from... Um, why is it going... Oh, why is it feeding six tracks? All right, maybe that's going <laughs> to... That's going to fix my problem. Um, I don't want remove remove this yet. I just want two audio outputs, left and right. Oh yeah, now the panner is back. Great, let's reset it. Okay, so that explains what happened. Not sure if the bass sounds different now. Okay, now I'll put this in the sidechain bus. So everything, the bass is here. Now I'm gonna add a sidechain compressor here. Go to the pinout and activate sidechain input and go take the signal from the sidechain trigger track. Now, I also need to activate this sidechain input. Uh, I think our sidechain trigger is kind of quiet. Uh, let me see if I can make it louder. Is there like a master volume somewhere? Uh, I don't see it. Okay. All right. Let's add just an amplifier. There's a nice Lua plugin called A Amplifier. It's just super simple and just lets you add volume or reduce at the volume. Oh yeah, that sounds much better. I want this before. Let's listen in the context. The bass is very quiet. I basically made it made it much louder, <laughs> uh, but however I did it before the compressor, so. Alrighty, let's go. Maybe change the play. Not, not touch. We don't want to touch it. We want to break it. We want to touch it. We don't want to break it. Now let's save the track. It's still recording. It's still recording. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay. I think I could make some. Let's try to make some saw super sauce. Just for the kicks. I don't know if we can do that in the synth and at all. Oh yeah, that would that would do. Okay, let's just try. Okay, so let's reset everything. Up. 
Mm, now we're going with defaults. All right. We have a... Hmm. Wait a second. There's a reset button here. Let's see what it will do. Okay, it's reset it to the patch. Okay, maybe here in this list of patches, there is a... Basic patch. There are very interesting things here. I don't want to use any of them because I don't want... I, I want my own patches. I want to make my own patches, dude. Wow, people are all doing everything with this. Pretty interesting. Okay. So, so that didn't actually do what I wanted, it did the opposite. It reset the patch, but to the patch that was loaded. And I, wa I wanted to have this. Okay, let's see. Now we want this to be a saw wave. Pretty sweet. Uh, I think it's a little loud. Better? better. Okay, now I want to inflict something like a pitch envelope under that. I'm gonna try to do this with um, Looks like I have not, I don't have enough range in the pitch, so I think I actually have to pitch this up. Maybe let's go, let's go four octaves. Yeah, decent, decent. And now just shift alt down one, two, three, four, five actually. Yeah, now it sounds the same but it is very much lower. Almost the lowest it can be. <laughs> and wait, what a, wait, what? Okay, maybe now it's gonna work. <laughs> Kinda. Okay, let's try saw wave. Well. going on. Doesn't seem to do anything. Doesn't do anything. What the heck? I think I would have to do my pitch shifts with a different processor, maybe a pitch shifter afterwards. However, for sure, I can just make the things do what I want. I hope. Okay, let's maybe not use E for the modulation. Let's use A for the modulation. So I'm going to turn this off and use A. What is this? Oh, it's like a velocity. Oh, that's better. Still, it's not enough. Why? All right, but now I can make an more saw waves. And just, you know, turn this on, on all the, of them. And then turn them off, on. Ha, ah, they're so low. Yep, now, pan them left and right. <laughs> Something's not right. Uh, ah, okay, the velocities are, were not the same. 
How about this? Nope. Oh, this is pretty interesting. It sounds weird. I like it. Let's just go crazy. What the heck? Huh. Ridiculous. Love it. However, for some reason, this is more in the left ear than the right ear. Oh shit. Yeah, better. Now, I want some detune. Sweet! <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> this is insane! Let's hear it in the context. <laughs> That's pretty freaking insane. I like it. I know I can do a variation on that. Let's see. Not sure if this isn't an overkill of this so wave. I am. Maybe not. Have I think we should deploy some weird things. Definitely. Maybe some delay. Oh, I clicked something. Super sauce chorus. Chorus. Yeah, chorus. Obviously. Of course. Well, that's the best thing I could possibly. Maybe too much delay. Need more. Yep. I think there is some weird thing going on with these voices. Maybe some delay? Do I have release? I don't want to release. Yep. Oh yeah, better. <laughs> Sounds way more, way more f fucked up. Lick it. Makeup? Nice. You want to show yourself? It's going to be a pretty non-popular video, so don't worry. You want to listen? This is what I'm doing with a synth I never used to make a track before. Crappy, right? All right, let's get back to it. Yeah, I like the short envelopes much more. I wonder what I can do. Yeah, I wanted to do some delay, but I don't want, don't know if it's gonna be a good idea anymore. Maybe I could not sing the BPM, but just do it somewhere. Yes. Of course, let's automate the delay time. Because that's the best thing. Oh, whoa, oh, I think I pressed... Yeah, I pressed F, no. Yeah, I pressed F, which uh, maximizes the tracks selected to fill the screen. Not what I actually wanted right now. Let's see. Let's listen just to this. Oh, sweet combing, duh, yes. Pretty awesome. Let's try something ridiculous and see what happens. 
that's that's how many interesting sounds are made. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I make high pass, low pass, le less of a thing. Yeah, like it. How would it go if I put it here first? I'm really tempted to use another notch. <laughs> Let's try it. I, li I really like notch filters. They are, they're making everything sound neurofunky and I like that. Um, I like my neurofunkiness a lot. Neurofunkiness is the new, neurofunky is the new loud. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, maybe a little bit too much. I'm gonna maybe make it sharper. Oh, sweet. Funky, yes. Let's try this and try that. Let's see. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty weird. I like it. Let's see in the context of the song. Delay time. Because that's the best thing. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh hello? Oh, oh, we were hanging. Oh, we we're hanging. Yes? Making a track. Learning a synth. It's called Oxy FM synth. Because this is an FM challenge. It's pretty nice. I think we should duplicate the whole thing. Let's select that. And this, and that, and... Oh, control. Yeah, now I'm gonna also select... Oh, okay. This first doesn't wanna select, all well, weird. Okay, let's go. Control C, now I have mouse to beats, control V here. Yes, everything apart from this thing. Why doesn't it want to select the heck? Come on. <laughs> I click here and this, uh, what's going on? Maybe I'm just gonna close this. Okay, close this too. Automation, show existing automation. Still doesn't work. Okay, let's try. Let's try this. Okay, can't do. Mm hmm. Not the best. Not the best thing I saw. Okay, we have to redo this manually because it doesn't want to copy paste. Pretty freaking lame, if you ask me. Well, that's an opportunity to do something a little different, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's 3K, let's just do... Ah. Let's listen. that this note is too high <laughs> and I also would like to break it up a bit immediately that not that it makes any difference or something let's also see what happens if we route that to the sidechain bus <laughs> Kind of disappears. Maybe not the best thing in the world. Okay.
All right. Okay, I think that's a good thing for day two. Maybe let's stop here and get back to this track later. Yeah, let's save it. See you again in the next in the next day of this. Huh. Make enough. Bye.